Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today we are in the Ridge Life apiary, and the honey bees are a flying. We've got gunslinger bees here. We got 41.36 bees there, and guys, it is almost springtime. Now, this is a very, very crucial time for honey bees. In the springtime, the queen starts to lay tons and tons of eggs. But guys, right now, it's truly not spring. There's not many flowers out here. So what happens is the queen will start laying all these eggs. They'll have all these mouths to fill. There's probably not much honey left from the winter and the bees die out. Well, we've got the solution today. We're gonna feed them. Look at the bees. Yeah, they're like, we need to find, okay, there's a drone bee. See that big one right there? That big one right there is a boy bee. Mixed around all with the girl bees. It's a crazy thing in the, in the winter time, uh, all the girl bees get the boy bees and throw them out and kill them all. Can you all see the little uh, yellow sacks? Can you see the yellow, yellow sacks on their feet? That is pollen, they're bringing in pollen. Very, very cool. Beautiful bees. I am all suited up here. Guys, remember, I am allergic to bee stings. I swell up like a cantaloupe. Luckily, I don't go into anaphylactic shock, at least not yet. Go ahead and get the straps on here. We put straps on here, and they go to the bottom um, uh, pallet in case those big winds come. I don't want to knock over our bees, plus if animals come to, to mess with them. Get over here. Again, this is 41.36, named after our good family friends out there in Arkansas, the Country Road Cure and Simple Life Reclaimed. And then Gunslinger Bees is named after uh, the character of Fear of the Walking Dead, uh, John the Gunslinger. Uh, uh, may he rest in peace. Okay, So we've got our uh, straps off. I think we'll start with Gunslinger first. Look at all these bees right here with pollen in their sacks. They got pollen in their sacks. They're wanting to get in. They're finding the hole at the top. That is a lot of pollen being brought in. First thing I wanna do is lightly smoke the bees. It's gonna calm them down a little bit. Really what it does, it um, makes them go and drink their honey. I guess they think a forest fire is coming or something, does something internally to them, but uh, makes them go to the honey. Hopefully there's a little honey in there left for them to take. Get the cover off here. Ooh, this thing's popped on good. I'm gonna put a little bit of smoke under here. I bet there's tons and tons of bees. Give them just a second, and then we'll open up, and hopefully they'll all be real calm. All right, get the cover off. Uh oh, the inner cover came with it. Look at that. They are lots and lots of bees in there, guys. The inner cover came with it. So I gotta pop this inner cover off. Ugh. Okay, I got the inner cover. Look at that. It had glued itself to the top. I'm gonna set it off to the side here with the lid. You can see the lid's got lots of bees on it too. I'm just gonna cover those up so they don't, so they're calm, but look at these bees, guys. Look at these bees. Get a little smoke across the top. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do is loosen them up a little bit because they have not been taken out in a long, long time. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do is inspect, look for the queen, look that she's making new eggs because there probably there weren't many eggs in the wintertime. Well, should've been no eggs in the wintertime. So if there's eggs in here, I know that queen is in here and she's making uh, babies. So hopefully I see the queen and or the eggs. And then what I'm gonna do, most of the uh, bees are probably up here on the top. The bottom box is probably empty. I'm gonna swap them. That way the bees can protect the new honey they make this spring. The honey will be at the top, bees be at the bottom. They come in through the bottom, the bottom entrance down there, all the bees and the babies in the, in the middle, honey at the top, that's the plan. So I'll swap the boxes once we uh, do an inspection here and see how, how they're doing. Get this in here, pull this out. If I see eggs, I know we are in like Flynn. Okay, this has actually got some nectar on it. 
Oh, I see lots and lots of uh, small hive beetles. Lots and lots, but guys, there is nectar. So they're getting nectar from somewhere, which is a good sign, but tons of small hive beetles. Oh, goodness gracious. Look, aren't those beautiful bees, guys? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. All right, I don't see the queen on there. If I see her, I'll definitely uh, point her out to you, but lots of small hive beetles on there. I know that's for sure. Put that right on the side there. All right, move on down. Move on down. Again, I ain't gotta spend too much time here just looking for the queen. Lots and lots of nectar. So happy with that. Looking for some brood. Or some drones, see if any drones are coming out. I don't see any baby bees. But I do feel lots of nectar, so that's a good, good sign. Good, good sign. Let me get this, all this extra propolis off the top here, this burr comb. Go to the next. Usually the queen starts laying in the middle, guys. She starts laying right in the middle and she works her way out. This is a brand new frame. <gasps> we got baby bees down in there, guys. There is little larva down inside there, little larva. That is so cool. And we got bee, we got brood. That's capped brood right there, guys. Do you see all that capped brood? Isn't that so cool? See all that's baby bees covered up, ready to be born. This side is all brand new larva. There's larva down in there. So queen's probably on here somewhere. Don't wanna, oh, there's some drones, there's some boy bees. Drones are, some, there's a bee, dro, uh, drone bee right there, big one. That means, um, it is mating season, so I gotta hopefully see that there's no queen cells in here, meaning they're gonna split and leave me. Leave me high and dry. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Check the next one down. Oh yeah, lots more cap brood. Got a little wonkiness right here I gotta take care of. Get that off of there. But uh, we got cat brood. I do not see the queen. Again, this was a brand new frame they've been filling out. So they've been doing a lot, a lot of work. More cat brood. I don't see any queen cells, which is great. Which means really they got a lot of room with that bottom box. I left that bottom box on there uh, this winter instead of taking it off. And uh, I think it helps me this uh, early spring with giving them room to move. All right, a lot more cat brood. No queen cells. Queen is in here. She's doing her job, that's for sure. All righty. Yeah, there's a beautiful, beautiful brood. Okay, so I'm just going to go over a um, couple more on the top here, see what we've got. Okay, I'm starting to see some uh, drone brood. Okay, this is a regular cat brood and regular cat brood. See all this, all this open in the middle there? Them babies been born. Them baby, and all this orange stuff right there is pollen. Man, this queen has been working her tail off. Now this next frame is drone brood, guys. This drone means the boys. All those other little flat ones that you've seen, those little cap cells are, are for the girls. Now this is boys right here. Look at that. See how they're raised up like little uh, buttons? Those are all boy, boy bees. And the cells are actually bigger too. The little holes are bigger. All boys, all, all, all boys. So I don't see any queen cells though, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna move over one more, one more. Looks like they've done all the boys on this one side. And I'm curious what's gonna be in the bottom. I'm betting not too much. All right, all boys also there. All boys there too. So we've got a, an active queen. She's filled this whole top box up almost all the way with with babies. So that's why I'm going to feed them today to give them the nourishment they need to feed those babies. Let's get this top one last frame in there. If I can get it, get some room. My goodness, guys, they ain't got much room at all, do they? All oh, ain't got much room at all. Here we go. All right. So now what I got to do is tape this top box off set it off to the side, hopefully don't kill the queen, and then we can look in the bottom box, swap them, and then move on down to 41.36. Ooh, I'm so excited. Do just a little more smoke here. A little more smoke. Get this top box popped. All right, let's see. 
Let's see how much it weighs. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> we got tons of bees in the bottom. Oh my goodness. Which this means we may be splitting these bees. If we split them, that means I'll create two colonies. I'll put another one right there. It looks like there are a lot of bees already in here. So let me, uh, let me get this outside frame off here, make some room. I was expecting not to have hardly anything, not to have anything, but we'll swap them nonetheless. All right, nothing, nothing on there. And they started uh, uh, drawing this one out, right? So that's, that's good. So let's see what's move over. All right, hardly anything. We got lots of bees, but hardly anything going on as far as wax buildup. Get to the center. This is exactly what I wanted to see, guys. Lots of wax being built up. No brood down here. She has not been laying any bees. So we're going to swap this box for the top box, okay? So I just got to put everything back. Put everything back. Just like this. All righty. Okay. I got to separate from the bottom like that. Boom. Got it off. And this one is real light, real light, okay? Set it off to the side here. Everything looks nice and clean down below there. Guys, <laughs> look at this. Look at all those bees down there, guys. And they are starting to really, really, really fly around me too. So here we go. Set that right on top of that entrance there. That is good. Okay, get this top one on here. There we are. Now, what I'm gonna do is get this inner cover, pointed the hole. There's a hole right there for them to get in and out, also the top. Point it down, because now I'm gonna put my feeder up here with all that sugar water. This right here is my top feeder. Uh, we can see that there's a screen in the center, open on both sides. I fill this up with a one-to-one -one syrup water in the summer. In the fall, I put two to two to one, two part sugar, one part water. But in the spring, you want light, uh, uh, light clear, uh, uh, nectar-like uh, food for them. So what they do is they climb up here in the center. There's little holes in the plastic there and they go under this screen and they start drinking the syrup water. Uh, you don't want them to go straight into it because they'll all drown. They're not that bright, okay? Ladies, I'm sorry, you're not that bright. So, so what I do, I got my inner cover there. I'm gonna put the box right on top there. Try not to squish too many bees. So now we can start pouring our sugar water in. It's lid open here. I got five gallons of sugar water and you can see it is just clear and beautiful start off just getting little quart jugs of it and pour it up inside. It's going to start filling this up on both sides. Here we go. Just got to get it all filled up. Oh, I don't want to spill too much. You spill too much on the outside, the bees will start to rob each other. We don't want to do that. So I really need to start carrying the lid under it. There we go, carrying the lid under it. Ah, I dropped it. Again, half is gonna go on one and half is gonna go on the other. There we are. Gotta make sure I don't drop it, that's for sure. I'm actually. There we are. Oh yeah, they're already coming up to feed. Already coming up to feed. Looks like I'm gonna be able to get each one completely full with this five gallon. Not a problem. Not 
Not a problem. I don't want to get too full and overflow into down and pour inside the bees there. Definitely don't want that. All right. I think one more. That's it. And they'll, they'll eat this quick, guys. If uh, there's no nectar source out there, they'll eat it in a week, really quick. You can see how they come up through the center there, and that's how they get. Already some of them are starting to drown in it. So we're going to get this cover on quickly because um, they will get up here. These guys here will end up getting up in there and drowning in it. We don't want that to happen. So just want to get this cover on here. Oh, got to get those bees off the top of the cover there, don't I? There we go. All right, so get this cover on here. There we go. And that is sealed. And uh, now bees can get in this hole right there and they can get in right there. And uh, so most of the bees will come in that big hole and the guardian bees will protect them right there. And then they can get on up here, put their honey in here and they can drink and store it in there as well. Again, this isn't honey for me. This is honey for them. Now it's time to do the same thing to 41.36 bees here. Uh, check this out, guys. One thing different about 41.36 bees is it has this little window right here where you can see into the world of the bees. Let's check that out. There's the, the yellow down below is the uh, base plastic and they built all of this new comb up there and I can see little glistening of nectar in all those little cells. All the worker bees filling it up, filling it up. That is so cool. Get the top off here. Hopefully the inner cover is not stuck on this one. Yep, inner cover was stuck on this one too. All right, get them all going down. There we go. Put that right there. Let's get this cover off. Again, the inner cover was stuck. Okay, hopefully the reason you don't see too many bees up here is because I drove them down with the, uh, drove them down with, oh, there we go. Drove them down with the um, smoke. All right, because we got tons and tons of bees coming and going. So I'm pretty, pretty confident we're gonna see lots of bees inside here. So let me get one of these outer ones off first. All right, see what we see, everybody. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, it's heavy. So that means, heavy means there's nectar in there. Okay, see all that's capped honey. So that is probably honey left over from the winter. That's a good, good sign. They didn't, they didn't run out of honey. Okay, really good. Get that off to the side here. Get the next one over. All right. All right. A little bit of honey left over, but check this out, guys. That is all capped honey. So that was stored honey they had. That's a good, good thing. And then, all right, one more over. And this is where I expect to see the magic. And guys, we see magic. <laughs> we got a queen in here too. 41.36 queen is doing her thing. I don't see her anywhere. But uh, that's lots of cat brood. Lots of cat brood and a lot of it's uh, being born. That's why we're going to feed them, guys. I come over one more and boy, I start to see the boys being born. I see boys. See? That's all that cat, uh, the drone brood right there. Again, no queen cells, which is a good sign. Just checking this top box. Oh my goodness, lots and lots of, lots and lots of queens. I mean, not queens. Um, make sure I get all the bees off there. Lots and lots of uh, drone brood. So awesome. Don't see the queen yet. Again, I really don't need to see the queen when I see all her, uh, all her job, all everything she's done. Okay. This time of year, I just see what she's done, and that makes me a happy, happy camper. Yeah, she's all over this too. Let me get all of this off the bottom there. Yep. Yep, those are just practice cells. All right, I don't see her, but she is all over everywhere. And it looks like we caught it before the, um, all the queens started coming out, queen cells. Yep, 
You know, all this stuff off the bottom is just called what's called burr comb. It's connecting comb from the frames below to the top. Yep, we got boy bees. We got girl bees. We got pollen coming in. Super, super cool. Super, super cool. All right. Let me go ahead and close this back up. Close it back up. And then we're going to get down to the bottom. See how they are doing on the bottom. You know, I don't want to, this is where you don't want to squish your bee when you're putting everything back together. You got to move slowly and intentionally. All right. So let's swap the box now. Pop that seal there. Get this top box off. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all the bees on the bottom, guys. They've got tons of bees down here. Let's get this burr comb off of there. Get all that gone. All right, we got to see what is down here. Again, this is where the new frame should be. A lot of new comb. I don't expect to see babies being born down here. Yep, okay. Brand new comb. Brand new comb. Set this off to the side. Boom. But I'm, I'm super happy with the number of bees we see. Brand new comb. They're filling it out. That's awesome. Set that off to the side. Get to the center. Oh, drop some bees. Supposed to move intentional, guys. Not like that. That is awesome. Lots and lots of new bees. No queen cells. Okay. She's actually came down here and put some drone down here. So I got to be careful. Again, no, yeah, drone down here. She's so put drone down here as well. We'll move it up. That's not a problem. Bees know what to do. Bees do what bees do. Uh, oh, yeah. She's, queens came down here and laid some eggs there too. Again, move it up top. Not an issue. Not an issue. All right. All right. I'm not going to go any further. I hear a bee is getting angry with me. Can you hear that? That is bees not being happy. If you, if you open a hive up and they make that noise initially, probably no queen in there. But they only started doing this when I started messing with them, so. All right, got that slid down in there. Now, gotta break this off the bottom. Get it off the bottom over here. All right. Not near as heavy. Not near as heavy. Lots of bees down there. Oh my goodness. All right, gotta turn this around. You bees gotta move. Oh my goodness. Now they'll just slide over. I'm gonna spin this around and all these bees hanging off here will just slide over. There we are. Yep. Woo, that'll be, that's hard on your back now. That is hard on the back. Now let's get this one on there. Y'all can see all the bees flying around me, can't you? Tons of them. All right, get that inner cover. Again, with the hole facing down. Now let's feed them. All right, let's feed our bees here on 41.36, make sure everything's set up really well. It is, make sure, all right, we're good. Now I might be able to just pour this in since I've already used so much out of here. Let's see if I can pour it in Ugh. without spilling too much. I think I can, oh yeah. Fill that side up. 
Fill this side up. Keep filling, keep filling. Don't want to overfill. All right, that worked out pretty good. We got half in one and half in the other. Now let's go ahead and get this cover on real quick before the bees start to drown in the syrup. We don't want that to happen. Oh goodness, guys, this is so cool. Hope you enjoyed today's journey into the Ridge Life apiary. The bees are still flying around me, so I gotta get out of here. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day, and go Ridge Life.